is uh, as you know as i mentioned before uh selinski is in the g7 as you can see from this video this is what's happening outside of the g7 you've got japanese uh people just just outside of of the meeting protesting against this meeting saying that they don't want any nuclear war they don't want nato etc i mean this these are anti-war protesters that doesn't mean that everyone in japan thinks like them but as you can see that people opposing this okay and you might recall that Hiroshima was one of the one of the uh, islands that they were bombed by by America. Um, there's only one country in this world that have used the, the atomic bomb uh, and the nuclear bomb, sorry, and this was the USA, and they done it in this city. And now you have the USA back in this city, along with six other countries, uh, conducting this meeting uh, to talk about the future of the G7 and how they'll be providing billions to Ukraine. So at, after the, the end of the G7 meeting, Zelensky, he changed his shoes and he, he began claiming that the armed forces of Ukraine were in, in Bahmut. So at the beginning he say Bahmut is no longer with them, it's in the heart. But at the end he say we still have control over Bahmut. He did say that today the armed forces of Ukraine are performing a very important task um, that in Bahmut. At what point I will not share, but this suggests that Bakhmut is not covered by the Russian Federation today. There will be not two interpretations of this. Well, uh, he actually did two interpretations of this on the same day. Uh, as I say earlier, he admitted, uh, together with Biden, that the Ukrainian military had left Bakhmut and the city was completely destroyed. There is nothing left. Um, let's keep in mind that there's still uh, little villages around uh, Bakhmut that, 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 that are still under Ukrainian control. So there is a um, Ukrainian grouping of 40,000 troops. This is m a lot of troops, 40,000 Ukrainian troops. Troops um, that are retreating uh, towards Kasov Jar, where there is a new defensive line that have been established by the Ukrainian army. So, just to add to this and to finish, Zelensky did compare Bakhmut with the, the, the destruction of, of Hiroshima. <laughs> I mean, what is he doing? Anyways, this is what he, he actually uh, said. He said, what happened in Hiroshima and the destruction that we have, I will say frankly, I will say openly, the photos of the destruction of Hiroshima remind me of Bahmut. Zelensky said this in a country where thousands of people die. They basically die at the end of the Second World War um, under by atomic bomb launched by by the usa so there's quite a lot of contradictory information coming from Zelensky. in the morning he says one thing in the evening or afternoon he says another thing so it's difficult to use this information as a fact because the individual keeps changing constantly so i'll stick to the point um or, or to the conclusion that Bakhmut has been taken because there is photographic evidence, there is video evidence showing that and in the early in the morning Zelensky confirmed that Bakhmut has been taken and he did confirm this before uh, um, uh, receiving an approval from the Japanese uh, Prime Minister uh, that he will be receiving nine billions from Japan to spend in military and other things. Okay, so I'll continue informing you.